It's the middle of March. Who doesn't have allergies? It's so dry. Classic too. symptoms are in full swing, which is leaving those with seasonal allergies even more unsettled than normal. Danielle Uliano, our meteorologist, caught up with a local allergist to go over the differences between COVID-19 and seasonal allergies, along with what to do to keep the pollen out of your house. Those with seasonal allergies right now are probably experiencing itchy <coughs> eyes, a runny nose, congestion, and even a dry cough, putting them on edge. But of course, right now, everybody's heightened thinking that something else may be going on. So that's what's making people even more concerned about it. And what's the main difference between seasonal allergies and COVID-19? Viral infection typically will cause fevers. And that's the one thing with COVID-19 is that it is typically causing fevers in people, whereas the allergies don't usually do that. That being said, it's important to take your temperature a few times a day to make sure a fever doesn't come on. If you go from um, being a normally healthy person who just has sneezing and, and wheezing and coughing with your allergies and suddenly you're having a temperature, I think at that point you might want to bring that to medical attention. And with social distancing in place, it may seem easy to open up a window and get some fresh air, but not for allergy sufferers. Back inside the house, if you're worried about your seasonal allergies while you're inside the house, keep the windows closed. You can also give your pet a regular bath to get rid of the pollen they bring inside and keep the air conditioning on to lower the humidity in your home. But most importantly, and make sure you're doing everything you can to manage your seasonal allergies so that you can minimize any of these symptoms that may be related to the virus as well. Danielle Giuliano, Channel 4, The Local Station. Allergists want to remind you to take your temperature regularly to help you decipher if you have seasonal allergies or a virus.